big boss. Man, it's ain't just rap. Shout out to you, Just Able, Dot Draws, you know what I'm saying? As he know the vibes, we in Mars Day, it ain't Tuesday no more. You know what I'm saying? We actually seeing things through the scope they actually was meant and built on, you know what I'm saying? Because if we see it from a, a in, like a interpretation of some shit that ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Mars Day is, Tuesday is Mars Day. You gotta know what the actual essence of things are coming from. Unless you, else you just reacting to interpretation. And you don't really want to react to inter interpretations because then you're just following somebody else that don't even got the real source of knowledge of what you're reacting to. So you need to know today is Mars Day, okay? And Mar Mar Tuesday is Mars Day. Monday, you know what I'm saying, Moon Day. Wednesday, Mercury Day. Thursday, Jupiter Day, okay? Um, um, Friday, Venus Day. Saturday, Saturday, okay? And Sunday, it speaks for its goddamn self. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just want to make sure your mind is on the right track and things of that nature. And that, that's how we get lost, reacting and responding to it. That's how people in the Bible misinterpreting shit right now. You know what I'm saying? We got people uh, reacting and responding to someone else's interpretation and shit like that. So you're not really sourcing the wrong knowledge. So you only become whatever that person you know what I'm saying? That's taught you how to react like that react. And that person might not be shit. So you always got to start where everything starts from first with you. You know what I'm saying? Your ability to discern and shit and things of that nature. And that's what the fuck we talking about in every season. When we enter every season, this is birth, cardinal fire, creating and initiating new ways to see and feel. Okay, so you know what I'm saying? When it, when we talk about spring, that's birth. So that's giving birth to anything. <clears throat> I mean, a birth to a vision. You know what I'm saying? It's cardinal fire. You know what I'm saying? So your fire and an esoteric realm, that would be like your actions. That would be like your expressions. That would be like your creativity. Anything that transforms one thing to another fucking thing, that would be your fire. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have a fire about yourself. And Aries season is coming up. And Ramirez said, yo, just know if you ever come to Minneapolis, and I got you on a photo shoot. I love your vibe, bro. I'm proud of you. Shout out to you, Ramirez Mooney. I will do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just able to say internal flame. Yeah, absolutely. So you know what I'm saying? Act on your motherfucking... Act, on, act from your own individuality. That's it. That's it. 
If you don't know what that feel like, I'm sorry for you. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people do know what that feel like. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people love being in that space. They just convince themselves not to be in that space. And that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? But, it, you know, every every spirit got to start somewhere and shit like that. We didn't play Boo Boo the Fool a couple times. You know what I'm saying? And so it's cool. You know, we be playing Boo Boo the Fool here and there. Uh, radical. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to all y'all, man. But um, we about to get into these alignments, you know what I'm saying? Because you know how the coach like to do. Coach like to esoterically stretch right to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> What's good, Kales? What's good? Y'all in the house tonight. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like I said, when you give giving birth to something, man, that could look like, you know, anything you want it to look like, to be honest. Fired, it really don't deal with no fucking logic, you know what I'm saying? Like air signs, wood, or, you know, earth signs in practical ways, you know what I'm saying? It really don't deal with that. It's just you, me, myself, and I, you know what I'm saying? You on the stage. It's about you, baby, you know what I'm saying? Not like Leo, though, but more so in a way you don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? Leo might actually care, like, you know what I'm saying? Leo might cry if somebody, they say, if somebody try to take them out their vision or something like that. <laughs> Y'all know how they do. Um, but yeah, we got in this motherfucker. Let me see. Shout out to Flo with Zoe. Shout out to Just Able. Shout out to 637 Milo. Shout out to Ramir Mooney. Try Tracy. Shout out to Yamna. I saw her in this thing. Yeah. Gang in it, bitch. Gang in it, bitch. Gang in it, bitch. So is you personally lit or not? You know what I'm saying? And anybody want to come up here and share the stage with me? You know, you could be personally lit with me. Or without me. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, just know. Just know that's what we're dealing with. Okay? So you got to give birth to something new. It'll go to the front of that. Let's get it, though. But, yeah, so, you know, uh, let's check these out, these alignments. So, you know, Mars is in Aquarius right now. So we do got, like, some motherfucking, you know, Mars, ha Mars had to be done in an Aquarius unique way and shit. You know, Aquarius is unique way. You know what I'm saying? Mars got to be done with your mentality. Mars got to be done with your mind. Mars got to be done with you creating or you, you know what I'm saying? You thinking your way through things and shit like that. Be creative with your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? You know, Aquarius is a little bit restrictive, so we don't really deal with the Mars energy. But you know what I'm saying? When we come, you know what I'm saying? We can fuck with that shit. She said, do you use tropical or sidereify? I use life. You know what I'm saying? Seasons. Shit, I just look outside. I'll be like, man, it's spring. That's like Aries. You know, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I don't go. <laughs> I promise you don't go no further than that. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, I just look out. I just look outside to be honest. You know what I'm saying, but I think uh, whatever um, whatever is Astro Cafe. You know what I'm saying. That I think that's Western. You know what I'm saying. I'm a little more Western. You know what I'm saying. I use where I'm at. Shout out to them boys and shit like that. My mind can't be all over the place. You gotta be in one space. You feel me? But yeah, let's get to these alignments, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got sun um, trying to moon right now. So this is a gift to be comfortable with your actions. So you got the gift to be comfortable with your action. The moon just moved into Sagittarius. So you know what I'm saying? You got the gift to be comfortable with your experiences in a way that you see them personally for you. You know what I'm saying? Now, experience some shit. That's what Sag like to do. It like for you to experience some shit. You know what I'm saying? And when you can let go, that can turn into wisdom and knowledge in a way, in a sort. Sun conjunct Mercury. Also, this is expressing thoughts. So you're going to be expressing all this shit is on your mind. What's on your mind? <laughs> all this shit is going to be on your mind. You're going to want to communicate it and let it be seen in some way, shape, or form. So make sure you bring in some type of creativity in the world. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody like you, baby. I know. Sun conjunct Neptune. This is expressing creativity as well, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to be want to express your creativity in some way, shape, or form, or be seen for your creativity. Sun square Pluto, this is learning to take control over your visions, okay? So you're going to want to, so, um, so yeah, as soon as you step into your visions, you know what I'm saying? You're going to want to feel in control of that shit, but it's not going to be harmonious. It's going to be a square. You're going to be like, damn, I just stepped into this shit, but now I got to like learn how to take power control. And it ain't easy. You just got to look for the answer. 
You know what I'm saying? Moon square Mercury. This is learning how to feel about thoughts. So we're going to learn how to feel about what we're thinking about, what we're communicating, what we're putting out into the world and shit that, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Don't think too hard in that. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me blow the whistle. Okay, Moon sextile Mars. This is opportunity to feel comfortable with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You can feel comfortable with your passions right now. You can feel comfortable with expressing whatever you're into personally. You know what I'm saying? Don't let motherfuckers come take that joy away from you. But motherfuckers will try to take that joy away from you. You know what I'm saying? When you got this opportunity, the one time you got this opportunity in your life, you ain't felt like this the whole summer, spring, I mean, the whole uh, fall, winter. You know what I'm saying? None of that. You know what I'm saying? You got this one time in your life where you feel actually comfortable with doing something with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Right now. Right now. Feel that. Feel it. Feel the love. You don't even recognize yourself. You ain't even expressing yourself. You be like that. Yourself be looking like a stranger to you and shit like that. You be like, damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? You be forgetting about yourself. You be just neglecting yourself and shit like that. You be like, damn. Who who is that person? You, yourself had to come and wake you up through a circumstance or a situation. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, always pay attention to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't never lose sight of that as a spirit. That's important. Okay. Um, and every season gonna teach your ass that for sure. Pay attention to yourself. Put yourself first before anything. Before your thoughts and feelings. Like before, like you even think about like thinking about somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just. It's just the real shit. It's just. It's just real. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Um. What was that? Oh yeah, um, Moon Square Neptune. So this is learning to feel about how to feel about dreams. So you're gonna be learning how to feel about. We're gonna be learning how to feel about our imaginations, our dreams. Hopefully, you have some good imagination, dreams, and thoughts on your motherfucking mind, baby. Okay, you're gonna learn about them bitches. Okay, you're gonna learn how to feel about them bitches. Damn, like, you know, you know. Okay, moving on though. Uh, Mercury conjunct Jupiter. So this is expanding thoughts. So your thoughts is going through expansion. Your thoughts is going through, you know, expansion. What thought is that? You don't know it no more. It just expanded. Poof, it's gone. It's in the air now. It's up there. You hit it out the park. Please hit it out the park. Okay? Expansive thoughts. Okay? Mercury conjunct Neptune, creative thoughts. Well, you just saw that in live action right there. Venus conjunct Mars, appreciating passions. Make sure your passions is aimed at the right thing because you're going to be appreciating the motherfucker. You're going to be a horny little dog. You know what I'm saying? In some way, shape, or form, Venus on Mercury and Aquarius, your mind might be in places no one knows. Okay. But see, though, be knowing, though. So you're going to be appreciating your passions right now. You know what I'm saying? Yay. In Aquarius, okay, your weird ass passions, but you know, for the most part, use that to connect with others and uh, associate yourself with others and, and show up with others and relate to others and things of that nature and, you know, humanitarianize <laughs> and you know what I'm saying, and show some individuality, show some change, you can change the world, we can really change the world, y'all know that, I hope y'all know that, I hope y'all know that, we can really change the world. We can really do that. We can really do We're all in this together. Venus conjunct Saturn. Appreciating boundaries. So you can appreciate your boundaries. Appreciate your boundaries right now, okay? You know what I'm saying? You work hard. If you put time in, this is time to appreciate the time you put in. It's time to appreciate the reality and the hard shit that you had to learn to go through. You know what I'm saying? To be where you are. Okay, so... You know, some good shit to have. Um, Venus squaring Uranus. This is learning how to appreciate change. You know what I'm saying? Things is changing, man. Things are changing, man. So you have to learn how to appreciate change, man. You feel me, man? They don't go no further than that, man. Mars conjunct Saturn. This is real passionate. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be real passionate right now. Real passionate, real passionate, Mars on Saturn, okay, Saturn get real, 
Mars get passionate. That's it. Mars Mars squaring Uranus. Mars squaring Uranus is learning to change your motivations. Ooh, ooh, you feel that shit? God damn it. New direction. Learn how to change. What you motivated about? You can't be motivated about the same thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to be motivated about some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Some you shit. Mars, in, Mars is still in Aquarius. Some you shit. You know what I'm saying? Uranus is still in uh, Taurus. So we're kind of going through a change with you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? What what our stability and like just being stable upon that shit. So we got to be an individual when it comes to that as well. You know, um, Mars conjunct Pluto, death of a desire. Okay, so she's going through some transformation with the death of a desire, a death of something you wanted to hold on to that no longer serves you. You know what I'm saying? That is all shedding. That's all going to waste. You know what I'm saying? As long as you took power and control over it, you know, in your own way, should let that shit fall. Let that shit go to waste. You know what I'm saying? Mars on Pluto. And let me see if that's right because, yeah, Mars is in right. Mars is in Aquarius. Oh, yeah, it's, about, it's still conjunct. It's still conjunct kind of Pluto a little bit. But nonetheless, I think we just left that transit. I felt we left that transit. That's why it made me think of that. So that's something that we already went through. So we're kind of experiencing the remnants of that. You know what I'm saying? Just to like the whatever cloak or whatever the fuck we had to let go. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Jupiter, sex, telling Uranus, opportunity to experience individuality. Okay, so we got an opportunity to experience, you know what I'm saying, some change, some individuality, some being, some trying, trying to step up and trying to show your motherfucking in, innovation and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Step up. Step up. Step up. You got to experience some change, though, right now. Jupiter sextiles. You got an opportunity. Opportunities everywhere. Opportunities everywhere. The more experience you have, the more better you be, though. That's what I do know. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever, don't ever negate your experiences and shit. Don't let no spirit take that away from you. Um, Jupiter conjunct Neptune. Um, this is expanded dreams or an illusion. You know what I'm saying? So you could be expanding on your dreams right now, or you could be expanded on an illusion, my man. Don't be expanding on no illusions. You know what I'm saying? Well, you're going to be experiencing a dream or illusion. It don't even go no which way. Moseo, shout out my boy. All right, but yeah, then we got um, Saturn square Uranus learning to uh, the reality of changes. So we learn in the reality of our of changes, the change world. Every time we hop into whatever's real, Whatever's reality, we're going to be like, damn. But we just, we learning about some fucking shit changing and shit. Because the, the it's going to square it off. So y'all know what squares is. They learn. He said, I go up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we learned the reality of change. But shit, you might learn that in that reality, you the shit. So don't get mad at that. You know what I'm saying? The reality change, shit. Fuck that old reality. That shit wasn't shit anyway. You may be the ugliest person in the world. You may be the shit in that reality. You know what I'm saying? It's just how you learn as a spirit, you know? So it's, you know? Saturn square, um... Saturn square, uh... Oh, I did that. Neptune, sextile, Pluto. Opportunity to put death to illusions. I like to say that or your dreams. So it's just no in-between. You got the opportunity to put death to illusion or a dream. No in-between. You know what I'm saying? No in between, no nice guy. You know what I'm saying? Is you gonna is you gonna take power control of your dreams? No, is you gonna let motherfuckers make you put death to your dream, or is you gonna let or is you gonna let motherfuckers make or are you gonna be the one that put death to illusion? And shit like that. Pay to play. Bro, enter coins. Insert your coins. It's over with. Ain't no games. Ain't no games. 
Now, once I blow this whistle, y'all know what the fuck it is. It's official. These illusions in my head. Oh, I never want to leave. <laughs> my boy. Yeah, he be off that kid Cuddy. Shout out to that's my ray of ring. Yeah, I got it. Mm, got it. Mm, got it. Yeah. And I got it. Mm, got it. And I got it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, y'all know. Anybody want to hop up on the uh, the joint, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm open right now. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? The alignments are done. And we're going to blow this whistle and get our ass in the motherfucking game. You, you hear me? You hear these illusions in my head, oh. See your spirit. So we want to see your spirit. I can say it just. La, la, la. Teen spirit. You know what I'm saying? Aries season. Spark. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the Aries. You know what I'm saying? For sure, one of my fave sons. We, we all just. La, 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 la. It was too bad. La, la, la. Yeah, we got we got just April joining this thing. I think. Let me see. You're stupid. Here we are. Why was they screaming like that? Yeah. Damn, let me see, bro. I'm trying to get you in here. Let me see. Accept. I'm trying to accept you. They ain't letting me. They ain't letting me. I guess they just like, it's Aries season. Oh, it's Aries season. They don't want you up there. They don't want you up there. All right, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know who it is. It's Seatho, the spirit coach. Getting your ass in shape and form. For Age Aquarius, uh, thank y'all for coming to my workout. Work it out with Mr. Seatho. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, get y'all ass in a gap. Yeah.